two years ago, I completed phase one of my alt account build. I got level 99 in all combat stats, except for prayer. I also unlocked the lunar spell book so I could use spec transfer and heal other. And while this build is useful in some ways, we haven't reached our final form. But today, that all changes. Not only will I be going for a quest cape, but we have a bunch of skilling, combat achievements, plus further optimizations to make this the ultimate alt account build. And before you ask where is my main account during all of this, he's still there. He is still in the final circle. 500 plus hours invested so far. Hell, even reaching a thousand hours isn't even out of the question. I don't say this lightly. This is probably the most insane thing I've ever done. So if you want to see that, make sure you're subscribed. Now, you're probably wondering why even make an alt in the first place? It seems like a lot of effort and time to go into a second account when you could just kill bosses on one account. Well, using Krill Sutzeroth as an example, it's about 200 hours to get the pet on rate if you're soloing. But if you add an alt tank into the mix, we're now looking at around 50 kills per hour, cutting our time down to only 100 hours to complete the boss. The good news is this works at several other bosses as well. So investing into this account for the long run is going to be worth our while. Well, buckle up everybody. This is going to be quite the adventure. We have so many quests to do. 82 in total. Let's see how long it takes to get these done. Man, I do feel a little sentimental about this account. It, it's so good. It's so good, bro. Max Combats and 17 Hunter. If you'd like to see how I made this account, then definitely check out this video. And here are all the skill wrecks I'm missing for the quest cape. We have quite a ways to go. Basically, I need level 70 in every skill. But don't worry. I have a plan. Garden of Death completed. That means we have 81 quests. We have 81 quests to do this week. Biggest bottleneck when you're questing an account is typically farming and hunter. I'm going to try and get farming knocked down first by doing the farming quests. 1 to 2% favor per spider. This is the first time I've ever heard of this. Oh, I thought the quest was done. No, I have to wait for things to grow. Okay, we'll find another thing to do. <laughs> My arm's big adventure gives us some herb lore and farming XP. We're going to continue on this train. Ding, plants are done. I need some smithing levels. Let's get some smithing levels. 84 smithing has been obtained. Cost me about two mil. Yeah, I, I just traded my main account for some money. This kind of feels wrong to be killing my own people. All right, this is gonna be a big one. Cabin fever. That's some levels. There we go, 54 agility. That's big, that's big. Uh, I think there's a way I can do this without training agility at all. We'll see what happens. Ooh, a choice XP. Let's put this in rune crafting, I wanna say. Uh, it's either rune crafting or agility for main accounts, so. Think in runecrafting. Also, update on the stats. Still 17 hunter. Runecrafting XP. Maybe it's this one. Is it this one? Yes. Farming level 56. I haven't done a farm run on my main account in about five years. I don't miss them. By the way, still working on Circles of Hell. I'm actually AFKing as many things as I can on this account. I was just fishing lobsters and dropping them. Guess what? Baby number two has been born onto this earth, my second daughter. Here's a little interesting tidbit of information I learned. You can indeed do a birdhouse run in between contractions. I can confirm it. We got a ton of levels over the past four days, just doing farm runs and birdhouse runs. However, now the fun begins. Now it is time to not sleep at all. Darkness of Hallowvale. Fancy little book of choice XP. Agility again? Yeah, agility. Let's do agility. Oh, we, yep. Agility again. Okay. What next? What next? I win. He lose. Oh, this is where the juice comes in, if I re recall. Tome of exp agility. Maybe let's, we're gonna do, nope, just agility again. Prayer? Nope. Agility. It is currently, uh, 
1 a.m. I'm thinking my next plan is to work on the elf quest as much as possible. At least morning is in part two because Song of the Elves obviously has all the 70 wrecks. Meet HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. They just send a box of food to your doorstep and there you go. All the ingredients for healthy and delicious meals are right there ready for you to cook. It's a great gift for new parents or maybe you just want to spice up your home menu. Yakitori steak skewers, banh mi pork burgers, bro. Southwest beef cavatappi that is the fancy version of the classic beefaroni cheese dog so many healthy and delicious meals you can't get at fast food no more staring blankly at the fridge wondering what to make for dinner it's just nice to have options ready to cook never once had a bad meal you can customize your preferences and you can also just choose which meals you want they've sponsored the channel many many times so happy to let them support again and again click the link in the description or use my code to get 16 free meals plus free dessert for life while your subscription is active. Big thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. Let's get back into the sleepless nights. My friends, this right here is gonna be a juicy one. Oh! oh wait, no, I thought it was agility. Well, we need some thieving levels anyway, so I guess it's not bad. We need these quests. We need all the quests. We need every single one of them. I have failed this shortcut 20 times. Please. 60k. 60k agility. Oh, man. You gotta love the quest rework. Stats are looking pretty good. We're getting up there. I AFK'd the entire way to 70 woodcutting at use at the woodcutting guild. You know, I actually voted no to the whole removing the Koren favor. I'm gonna change my vote to yes now that it's in the game. You guys... You guys know what's the real question. Is it gonna be agility or rune crap? Just kidding, it's agility. Of course it's agility, man. 60 agility without training it. Also with thralls unlocked, this is gonna be very useful for corporal beast doloing. At the moment for corp, I'm planning to use a T-bow alt there, but if I end up not liking that, I'll use the spear alt. Either way, good to have this unlocked. 93 farming boys, we got it. We got 93 farming finally. It's It's been such a long grind doing these farm runs. Normally this would be a situation where I'm explaining how difficult this fight is, but I am max combat. So it's easy. The moment of truth. Which skill will I put this XP on? Well, the only choice I have is agility. So it's gotta be agility. Just drink it in right now. Game is too easy, honestly. Also, now that I have Sins of the Father done, I could potentially do some AFK Vires on the side. Definitely an option for future bossing grinds. We shall see. I need some thieving levels, so I'm going to be training Fletching while I do thieving. Gonna be doing this uh, snazzy Wooks method that you know, maybe maybe some people know about, but this is the best way to train thieving. If you think squirks are better than this, well, uh, the world's dead, so sit. Big bazoinga coming in here. What is it? 60k? That's like 200k XP. What the heck? Dude, why did they buff the quest this much? This is awesome. I love it. I would never... That's 70 fletching. I needed that for the hard diary requirements. All right, here it is, another hunter. Just kidding, it's crafting. I tricked you. You have never saw it coming, I promise. Oh, think I'm good? Nice. We made it over the bridge, fellas. We're, we're in for the clear. The Path of Glowfree, one of the newer quests that has been added to the game. But alas, we still have 34 more to go. I can't fail this four times in a row. This guy's laughing at me. Oh my god. That is literally the hardest thing I've done on this account. Okay, just did a solo theater of blood hard mode. And it is a white, unfortunately. Free two quest points. And this is the one downside about this account, having all max melees and combats, really. Anytime I get these lamps, it just feels like such a waste. Good news, we're under 30 quests to get the quest cape. 50 thousand fishing xp 
Nice 10k prayer. Not bad. Not bad. I just hit 50 hunter. I'm a little worried that I'll have to train this skill. Hopefully our birdhouse runs carry us while we do these other quests. It is getting to be slim pickings at this point. We're basically closing in on all the high wrecks for the grandmaster quests. And then there's also these. The Ring of the elements right here is so good for questing. If you're training up an account, definitely buy one if you have the cash. It's so good. There are a lot of locations that are obscure. This ring will solve for you. Yeah. Giant rat teleport right there. Next closest teleport is probably... <laughs> ring of the elements to the fire all this ring is crazy for rag and bone man one fun fact i've died to one of these fire giants on my hardcore iron man as one of my first videos today we get revenge rag and bone man one just kidding it's rag and bone man two it took me five hours 254 quest points and i think it's time to start dragon slayer one No shot, I drank it. I drank it. I think I'm the first person to attempt this at max combat. Let's see what happens. Okay, 45 and... Uh... Oh, he's dead. I got 70 fletching like yesterday or the day before. I'm not sure why I keep spending money on this, but it just feels wrong to not fletch while I'm questing. Like I have so much downtime. Oh, 75. I have finally been accepted into the Legends Guild. And this is where the money is. All that hard work. Come on. Show me agility. 30k. 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 And of course, 30k. 63 to 66 agility. This almost feels illegal. Okay, we are at Mithril Dragons now. We got to get some chewed bones so we can complete the Barbarian mini quest. No chance I get a Dragon Full Helm here, but... Boy can dream. Did ourselves a Barrels run for the mini quest. 20,000 free prayer XP. What? What am I attacking? Spirits of the Elid. What's next? Diaries. That's right. To complete our master plan of not training agility, I'm going to have to do some diaries. Uh, it'll just be nice to have some of these done just in the future. That might be because I'm using this account for a top secret video. All right, medium is done. You're going to watch me claim some more agility. Awesome. Okay. And we're still at 66. But if we do a bunch of these, we should get a level or two. I mean, what did you expect? 67 agility. Holy shit, dude. This is this is crazy. We're almost to 70. I was just looking at the quest rewards for all the like big grandmaster quests that I have left, and all of them have agility experience. I don't think I have to put a single lamp on agility anymore. We're just gonna go straight to rune crafting to finish up the wrecks. I still need 60, 65, something like that. We're, we're getting close. We're almost done with this. This has to be the worst part of the game right here. Literally the worst part of the game. Even with quest helper. Are you serious? Okay. Are you... Oh my god, bro. I hate this quest. I, I, I hate this quest. You fucking kidding me? There's a guy doing the quest with me. Okay. We're, we're in this together, fam. Let's do this. I don't know what this is. I don't know what I'm looking at right now. <laughs> it's over. It wasn't even for the XP. Oh, sandwich lady. Hold on. It's a pie. Okay. No stale baguette. And we continue questing. Oh, if you're starting beneath Cursed Sands, then you know that you're getting towards the end. We're almost there. That was a lot faster than doing on release. Also, 50k agility. Like, this game just knows how to make me happy. Dragon Slayer 2. This is the second time I've ever done this quest. The last time I did it was on release. Like, how many years ago? Oh my goodness. Uh-oh, the quest boss, boys. Hey, nobody tell him. Nobody tell him. Don't say anything. Don't let him know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the best quest Jagex has released for old school RuneScape. Like, Desert Treasure 2 is very high up there. I, I really enjoyed that one as well, but... Dragon Slayer 2, there's something about it. It just feels so, like, runescape -y. There we go. Yep, but... Oh, my... No way. Did I just leave? 
No! Well, it's gonna be another four minutes. <laughs> I I'm an expert at questing. <laughs> no! <laughs> My auto retaliate. All right, I think this is the last step of the quest. Let's talk to this man. Nice. That is a lot of XP. Holy cow. All right, 71 smithing. What else we got? 79 mining, 69 agility, and 62 thieving. Also total level 1725. Dragon Slayer 2 is a very necessary unlock for this alt account because I need to get an Ava's Assembler. Supposedly, this is some pretty good kills at Armadale, better than soloing, so we'll see when we get there. We now have the Rex for making friends with my arm, which, if you didn't know, also now gives 50,000 agility experience. Just when you think the Ring of Elements can't get any better, it's still coming in clutch. Look at this. Just got another task that needed it, so if you're questing up a new account, get this ring. It is so nice. Okay, this should be the last diary that I need. There we go, 55 rune crafting. That means we can start the Fremenic Exiles. Let's go do it. How the heck does Jimmy get an entire video out of each one of these quests? Okay, blasted through that one as well. 50k Slayer, 50k Crafting, and ooh, a free Slayer level. I'll take it. Rune Crafting as well. Need that. I think I still need 60 at some point. So yeah, new strategy. If you're questing an account, just get max combat first real quick. I have a secret weapon to do this boss in 2024. Can you guess what it is? It is... A Menophyte Remedy. This is the only use, actually, for the Menophyte Remedy. So you may as well use it if you're doing this quest. Desert Treasure 1 has been completed, which means we can now go finish Recipe for Disaster with almost all the quests done. Yeah, I've literally just been waiting on Desert Treasure. There's nothing stopping me from finishing RFD. All right, let's see how tough uh, this fight is, I guess. Oh, whoops. Oh, you can't use prayer. That's right. I forgot about that. Well, good thing I got full Justy. Man, they should buff Justy. I took like two hits there. I actually don't think this guy can kill me if I just auto retaliate. Easiest 20,000 rune crafting XP I've ever gotten. 57 rune crafting. Recipe for Disaster and Desert Treasure 1 are also very big for this account. Most dolo setups, my alt is going to be wearing Barrow's Gloves because of the extra defense. Hmm, I think now we do Secrets of the North. One Hunter level and General Shadow mini quest. Uh, of course, I got the good clue step for Master Clues in the Wildy right here. Dang it. I would love to have this instead of the Rogue's Castle on my main. I'm going to have to get some construction levels for the... Secrets of the North quest and may as well just just bang out 70 real quick shouldn't take like more than an hour or two a little infusion from the main account yes I am playing this account still stuck in the last circle of hell it'll be here uh I don't know maybe 2027 we'll see okay last one there it is 70 construction secrets of the north xp is cracked what that's right, 70 agility. Did you guys see me train it at all in this video? I don't think so. I don't think so. I told you, we we're up to some, some shenanigans here. 65 thieving. That will help us a little bit. We still need 70 for Song of the Elves. And then 58 hunter. Man, we're almost done. I do not miss this boss at all. I like Of all the bosses I could have spooned on, this was the best spoon of my life, honestly. There's the one kill for the diary, the hard desert diary. You know, I wish I did this before the Bandos video. Would have made my life a lot, uh, well, just more convenient. It's so annoying getting your run drained on the way to God Wars. So we got this quest done. Now we can... Not do that. All right, so this is the first time I've ever done drift net fishing. Need to get 65 fishing before I get to the next thing I need to do, which is a diary. I had no idea about this method. This is literally the first time I've tried this. The benefit is that you get hunter and fishing XP at the same time. It's pretty good. Pretty good, especially at low levels, so. 
Look at these rates for the levels I'm at. 64 fishing and 59 hunter. I'm getting crazy rates right now. And in absolutely no time at all, 65 fishing. For now, I'm done, but I may come back here for hunter. I got to test a couple other methods. Hard candor in diary. So now my bolts are going to proc a little bit better. This will be useful again in the future. Like I'm just getting all the good stuff on this account. Got a lot of plans for content, so... I hope you're ready. Some more diaries, some more rune crafting. 60, we are done. We got three quests left. Desert Treasure 2, Monkey Madness 2, and Song of the Elves. Just got a couple thieving, some fire making levels. All of these are fast, uh, so we'll just go bang these out really quick. Can't you almost just taste that quest cape? Mm. Okay, this is absolutely crazy. I've failed every single path that the quest helper has told me to go. Ladies and gentlemen, this is RuneScape. And we are done. Oh my God. That was definitely one of the worst quests out of all of these that I've done. Just for that docks part thing. You know what I'm talking about with the monkeys. Anyways, I hate that part. That's right. Team artifacts on my chest. Down with squirks. Let's talk about the medicine. It's medicine vegetable, gravel one, pink one. All right, here we go. 70 herb lore. That was quick enough. Didn't really lose too much money. I think it was only like five mil or so to get to 70. That's probably an overestimate. Money is nothing to me now that I'm, uh, well, I can't spoil anything, but I'm making a lot at the final circle. Yo, 70 Hunter. This by far is my favorite way of getting 70 Hunter. It's a shame you can't really do it on Iron Man because of the jute seeds and whatnot. You have to make all these nets by yourself. But on a main, Go on, King. Feels like I haven't even trained fishing. I'm already 69. Dude, I do not remember this being so hard, but I got a secret technique. That's right. I'm using the Dinny B to pull aggro on everything, and I have a light bear. <laughs> like, the, the shit I've been coming up with on this account is probably should should not come to light. I thought using a shadow here would be cool, but apparently it's very bad. Its max hit is capped at 24. So now I just look dumb. Song of the Elves. Oh, that feels good to say. Song of the Elves is complete on Harry Hall. We've done it. This is, this is, this is, oh my gosh. Back to the fighter making. We got 70. I'm just going to keep doing my, the good old fashioned Varrock method. I'm not trying to sweat this out. It's still faster than Winnetote. So if you just want some faster XP and don't mind lighting some logs, this is the way to go. Not too expensive either. This is my favorite part about playing this account because it looks just so messed up. I have a shadow full ancestral and I'm sitting here lighting logs in Varrock Square. This Iron Man's trying to tell me to go to Wintertoe. Oh, I'm having a good time. Making, yay! No. Oh, that's going to be my reaction. Oh no. I can now burn magic logs. I we're, We finally did it. Desert Treasure 2. I suppose we'll start with Vardorvis since that is what the quest helper is telling me to do. Why not? Oh, baby. First try. I guess it helps that we're max combat whatnot, but very nice. Okay, let's move on. Last chance for a unique on the first kill and during the quest. Come on. Give me the roll, Vardis. Vardis. Mm. Dragon Jet. Okay, I'll take those. Those are pretty nice. Here is the mother load. The re-XP lamps for prayer. Oh my goodness. And here it is. The quest cape has been achieved. After, I want to say 10 days or so, grinding this out, we are finally done questing on the alt account. But this is an Ingus video. We're not stopping yet.
Oh, whoops. That's 99 prayer. I wasn't even... <laughs> I was. I had something planned. I, I forgot what it is now. So <laughs> That's right. I bet you didn't see that coming. I just busted out 99 prayer in the span of 30 seconds. I've actually had the dragon bones banked for a long time. I, I bought a bunch when they were 1.6k each. Unfortunately, those are way too slow for me now. So I decided to sell the entire stack for a profit and just buy some superior bones. I did have to spend an extra 50 mil, putting us at 120 mil for 99 prayer, but I feel like it was well worth it. The XP is literally double, and I can tell you right now, we'll for sure make that 50 mil back in no time. There's only a couple things I want on this account before I end the video, and that is 82 construction for a max house. Ooh, I almost forgot. I have all these bones from NMZ like a long time ago. Let's go use these. At the very least, it's some free construction. Oh, <laughs> 182k. Can I get an instant replay? That is insane, man. 81. That gave us an entire level. I'm so glad I remembered to do this. Okay, this should be the final level. 82. We are done training construction. Gives us the gilded portal nexus. Time to revamp this house. Uh, we are no longer living in a shack. We are going to buff this to almost look exactly like my main account, just for my own sanity. That took way longer than I expected. I had to boost for a couple things with spicy stews, etc. But we finally have a nice looking house. Looks almost parallel to my main account. The only thing I'm really missing now is the combat achievements. I want to get hard tier done so I can just have some God Wars dungeon perks for later. I'm not going to show all of them, but you can find the full list of combat achievements I complete in the description. However, if you just want some easy, easy points and you're relatively skilled at the game, well, just do a quick expert mode in TOA and this will net you, uh, let's see here. How much, how many points is this? 24 combat achievement points from one raid. You can also hit up the entry mode top ones because all of them are elite tier, meaning four points each. I actually got most of them done in a single run. As long as you got a buddy like MN Haas here to help you with a couple ones like bouncing the ball and whatnot. Can get a bunch of other free ones at next. Just doing one kill on a mass world. Look at this. What is that? Another 16 or 20 points. A lot of the gauntlet and corrupted gauntlet ones are free as well. Then, of course, there's a handful of them at chambers that will also get you a bunch of points. And we are already done. The hard tier. We <laughs> did that in less than a day. All right, there it is. The hard tier is complete. Some nice little perks for God Wars, such as lower KC to enter the boss room. The dwarf cannon also holds 15 extra cannonballs. That's nice. And the Trollheim teleports, of course, with the hilt are unlimited. Look at that progress. We have 99 prayer, barrows gloves, a hard combat achievements, and a quest cape. Everything is greened out. It looks so nice. We even got all these diaries done as well. Thank you so much for watching. That is all I have for today. I boosted my account for 21 days, and now my alt account is ready for future bossing grinds. Wait a sec. Did I just give a clue for the next video?